Who says it is a cool being a bad guy? Well, this is Rob Dear Spot Animation Bliss, and welcome to another At the Movies Corner where we go over the most recent anime films that were released. So, today's anime film I'll be reviewing today is The Bad Guys. And before I get into my thoughts about this movie, here are a few words from the channel. All right, Animaniacs, now let's get on the social media train. Want to chat with us in 100 words or less? Then check out our Twitter account. Want to chat with us within a group? Then check out our Facebook account. Want to get the lowdown on everything dealing with animation on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So the movie starts off with a set of bad guys who are comprised of Mr. Wolf, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Shark, Mr. Snake, and Miss Tarantula. And they are known as one of the greatest criminal masterminds in their town as they go around town robbing banks and never getting caught. One day, however, the governor of the town, Diane, ends up calling out the bad guys and saying that they're not really as good as they think they are. And this ends up upsetting the bad guys so much that they decide to go to an awards ceremony that's going to be hosted by a gerbil named Marmalade and they try to steal the trophy from there. But unfortunately, the bad guys ended up getting caught and they were about to be hauled off to jail until Marmalade points out that he can try to make the bad guys into good guys. And so everybody decides to go along with it. And so the rest of the film is spent on Mr. Wolf and his friends trying to do good or becoming the good guys themselves. So what are my thoughts about this movie? I really enjoyed this movie. Like when I first heard about this movie when it first came out early on in 2022, I will admit that I was very interested in this film, especially with the premise of this film being about these bad guys trying to be good guys. And I was so interested in that that I decided to go ahead and watch this film. So let's go ahead and talk about what I did like about this film. So one of the things I really liked about this film was the premise itself. As I mentioned before, I really like the idea about having these bad guys trying to become good guys or trying to redeem themselves in society as they try to not go ahead and steal any more stuff. And I really like the fact that the movie explores about how hard it is for a criminal to try to become a good guy or try to redeem their past actions. And we get to see this through Mr. Wolf's character as he starts thinking throughout the film about whether or not it would be better for him to become a good guy and whether or not being the criminal all these years was really worth it in the end. So I really like the fact that they're able to explore the hardships that a criminal would go through through Mr. Wolf's character and trying to become a good guy. And it made me really love Mr. Wolf's character in this film as it shows a lot of great character development with his character as he tries to become a good guy but he does struggle a bit with it because he's been a criminal for most of his life and so he does fall back into some of his more criminal activities. So I do like the way the film was able to explore that. Another the thing that I really liked about this film were the characters themselves. As I mentioned before, I really like Mr. Wolf's character as he goes through the most character development throughout this film, but I also really love his friends Mr. Snake, Mr. Tarantula, Mr. Piranha, and Mr. Shark as they were very interesting and hilarious characters. And I like the fact that they also try to go through this character arc of them becoming the good guys and how they struggle with it because they've been criminals all their lives and they're not used to doing things for good. So I do like how Mr. Wolf tries to convince his friends to do good and we get to see how that conflict plays out throughout the movie. And then I also love the character of Diane herself as she serves as a positive influence for Mr. Wolf himself as she's the one who tells Mr. Wolf, you know, you got to be a good guy and I know you could do good things if you actually put your heart to it. So I do like how she's able to become a positive influence to Mr. Wolf and how she's able to convince him, you know, you could do good. You don't have to be the bad guy all your life. And I really like that that relationship between her and Mr. Wolf. And then another thing I really liked about this film was the animation itself. I love the fact that this film has like a 2D aesthetic to it, but the film is in CGI animation. It reminds me so much of Netflix's animated film Klaus, where you have all these characters that seem to be animated in 2D animation, but it's mostly in 3D animation. And if this is the compromise we get for getting 2D animation back to the market, then so be it. I'm okay with that. 
And I really like how this film is able to incorporate 2D animation to extend to the designs of the characters as the characters look very 2D-ish. But then the animation itself is like 3D animation. So I really like the combination of 2D animation and 3D animation with this film. Now if there was a minor issue that I have with this film was that I felt like the pacing went by a little too fast. Like I wish that we got a bit more development with these characters. Like I wanted to see more relationships between Diane and Mr. Wolf and between Mr. Wolf and his friends and even though I do love the relationships that's being shown between these characters I wanted to see more of it and I feel like that the film going by at a fast pace kind of prevented us from seeing more of a relationship between Mr. Wolf and his friends and Diane at the same time and I wanted to see more of that in this film. But overall I really enjoyed the bad guys. Even though the pacing of this film was a bit too fast I love how this film was able to tackle the issue about what would happen if a criminal decides to go good or they want to redeem themselves in the public public eye and the obstacles they had to get through to get that goal and I really love the characters themselves and the interactions between the characters was very well done so if you're looking for a fun family movie that's about criminal masterminds trying to go good I definitely recommend the bad guys so that's my review on the bad guys and tell me in the comments down below have you seen the bad guys and if you have did you like this movie did you hate this movie and what's your favorite animated film that involves a criminal character trying to become a good guy please let me know in the comments down below well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Rob Deer's blog, Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, animation fans. Like this video? If you want to see more animated content from this channel, then please hit that big old animated subscribe button so that you can get more awesome content from this channel.